Greatness in God's kingdom is achieved through an attitude of love and sacrificial giving. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, In these days gospel readings, Jesus is having a long dialogue with the disciples. Jesus built God's kingdom on this earth. The kingdom of God is nothing but God wants to rule our lives and he wants to rule our hearts. Jesus came into this world to bring back the scattered people to this God's kingdom and he wanted some people to assist him in his work. That is why he called the disciples to be part of his mission. He not only called them to be part of his mission but also he gave them the authority to cast out every evil and to heal the sick. And in today's gospel we see that Jesus is instructing his disciples with regard to two things. Firstly, he says that a disciple is not above his teacher nor a servant above his master. It is enough for the disciple to be like his teacher and the servant like his master. Any field of service if we take, we are incapable of grasping at the beginning. So we need someone who can guide us in that particular field. Once when we get trained in that particular field, we cannot say that we are now greater than our masters who trained us. Jesus is reminding us through the gospel that not to consider ourselves as greater than they but be great like them by following their instructions. Jesus is our real master who guides us every day in our lives. In order to be great like Jesus, then we need to serve everyone as he served and to suffer like him. Greatness in God's kingdom is achieved through an attitude of love and sacrificial giving. Secondly, Jesus is telling the disciples not to fear of anyone in the world. Jesus is telling the disciples to have confidence in him and in the power of God. When persecutions and sufferings come on our way, he will be with us and he will give us the grace to face all the challenges in our life. because he said in Matthew chapter 28 verse 20 I will be with you always even unto the end of the world let us examine our own lives have we really imitated our master jesus to be great like him by following his instructions have we placed our complete trust in the power of god amidst the sufferings and persecutions Let us pray for the grace that we may imitate our master and may trust him with all our heart strength and soul amen